Welcome to the Connected Caroline Show, where purpose inspires profit. And profit today is going to be in the form of your health, because you know your wealth is in your health. I have Dr. Anna Kabeca, triple board certified OBGYN, an expert in integrative medicine and anti-aging and everything that has to do with hormone health. Uh, she's an author of three books, and the latest one is called Menu Pause. For those who are watching on YouTube, they can see the, the book in the background. And also she has a YouTube talk show and her whole brand is The Girlfriend Doctor. So welcome to Connected Caroline, Dr. Kaveka. How are you? I am great. It's great to see you. And I think like the theme for this call, one of my favorite proverbs is that when you have uh, your health, you have a million wishes. When you don't have your health, you have but one. Exactly. Right? E exactly. And I found you with one of your online courses called Magic Menopause. Mm -hmm. And I, I had been through menopause, but I was searching. I could not find the answers to my hormone and I have thyroid issues as well. Um, you know, I have great doctors and they're all very integrated and everything, but there was, I just wasn't getting the, the answers to why I was feeling, you know, why I couldn't sleep, why I, you know, felt foggy, all these things. I did your course and I was just blown away and sold. I've become a complete advocate of everything that you do. So why don't you talk about your background and how you got to writing your first book and, and your passion around helping women and men deal with their hormone issues? Yeah, I realized at a young age, because I, I remember I being 16 years old, coming home from the school bus, co going up the hill, and my house was always the place that all the kids from the neighborhood would come because mom had fresh cookies, something was cooking to share. And I walked into the house and it was completely empty. My mom was undergoing, and that was the first time that I ever walked into an empty house like that. And that was the first, and she was undergoing her heart surgery, cardiac bypass surgery, triple bypass surgery. And I was 16, she was 52. And that made me, I was already, uh, you know, doing some research and very big into um, understanding medicine. I'd wanted to be a physician. I'd been a candy striper and a volunteer at the hospital. Anyway, but what I realized was that the research they were basing her treatment on was all performed on men. And and that was a, that was like eye-opening for me. And that really made me pursue women's health. And till today, Till today, we are struggling in understanding women's health. And the time that is most transitional for women in a problematic way is menopause. And while every woman will go through it, right? Every woman will go through it. Menopause is natural and mandatory. Suffering is optional. So how do we breeze through menopause into the second spring of our life and so that we're maintaining healthy relationships, you know, and I think this is an important podcast for guys to listen to, too, because you're trying to navigate how do I help my how do I help my wife, my mate as as we go through this I actually saw a quote today from Rod Stewart saying, you know, he just tried to duck out of the way when pants were being thrown across the kitchen, but try and understand what is happening and to support those you love as they go through it. Right. I mean, through your books, your ed the education of the uh, uh, nutrition component is so like key. And that really, you know, I switched my eating into a keto green diet, which is your, what right. you, uh, you know, promote in your book, Keto 16. And I want to for anyone on the video, they're seeing I'm drink, drinking her Mighty Maca powder. I, her product, Dr. Quebec has a full product line. I'm not selling this right this minute, but I'm drinking it because it is the best product and it helps, it, it helps in a variety of ways. And so how did you develop your product line? How did you develop your recipes? Obviously, Menu Pause is a eating system for people. Um, you know, how did that come to be? Like, just kind of give us the background on all of your books and yeah, the yeah. timeline. Yeah, I'll work a little bit backwards because Menu Pause came with five different menu plans that each pause something that can be interfering with our success. So one is pausing all nightshades and peppers, really following an autoimmune 
protocol. And then another is very carnivore. Another is plant-based, but a keto green plant-based. And another plan is a cleanse. I mean, all of these things are what we need to do periodically. And I do recommend everyone try it. And they're only six days, six days, because that's the shortest amount of time till we can see a real improvement. And we can see an improvement in as little as six days. And that's because the gastrointestinal mucosa turns over every 72 hours. So every three days. So two, you know, full cycles without whatever could be uh, aggravating your system. It's, it's a good, it's a good show. It's a good, um, testimony to what is um, possibly interfering. And anyway, it's just good to good to eliminate certain things as we go along. And it's a curiosity to see who responds to which plan better. And just again, ideas that are um, balanced for our hormones as well. So each of the menu plans are balancing for our hormones are supporting detoxification, supporting estrogen metabolism, and supporting a healthy gut and gastrointestinal system. So that's incorporated. And that came because my last book, Keto Green 16, is a 16 day plan, and uh, really focused on 16 key foods. And as people started like in the last, oh my gosh, we've been doing the Keto Green way, right? For more since 2015 since 2014, 2015. And so sometimes like we've been following this and it's been working and then we get stuck. And so, so it's been, it's been this journey, this evolution into figuring out, okay, what's my next right step. It's also a starting step. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so a couple of things that really inspired me by, by you, Dr. Kabeca, Dr. Anna, honestly, (laughs) that's how we refer to her as Dr. Anna, is you participate in all of this. You're not just up there talking at people. You are, you are part of our journey. And that was really inspiring. Um, The fact that the plans are simple, they're not long and arduous. They are simple and they're meant to be done together in community too. I mean, it really incorporates that bringing along the tribe with you. And I've had this discussion yet actually this weekend because I have a a good friend, Ingrid Maher, she was visiting, she's an influencer, her programs uh, burn 20. Anyway, she is this, you know, she's 51. She had breast cancer. She's strong into fitness and nutrition. And we were all out to dinner. We went to a Mexican place. It was late to eat after the rodeo because I'm here in Texas and my daughter is a <laughs> barrel racer. So yes. I drive, yeah, I dr- on the weekends, I drive a Ford F-350 and haul a 33 foot horse trailer. So, so she was, um, Anyway, so she got to see this rodeo and we went out. The only place that was open was this amazing Tex-Mex restaurant. And so, of course, they brought tortillas to the table and then there was rice and beans. And so my daughter was like, oh, I'll take the rest of the rice home. And um, it was very interesting because... uh, Ingrid said, I wouldn't let her do that. I mean, what do you want to take those extra carbohydrates home for? You know, that's, it's not serving you. There's no nutritional benefit for you in them. And, and she was like, really like seated how we have to hold the line for those we love. And when we do, they'll hold the line for us. And versus always making excuses. Well, it's late night or it's a restaurant or, um, you know, stressed, eating, um, this, that, the other thing. And it was really this thing for me. And, um, and I really, I really appreciate when we can come together in community, like we did in my magic menopause community, we're all talking and someone ask a question that you needed to hear the answer to in inspiring in them on their journey, or someone has a breakthrough that they share. Or we could be in one of our live calls and someone go through transformation right there and just be supported because we're holding safe space for that person. You know, there's no judgment. We're all on our own journey. And I, I think this is, this is what we have to do. We have to raise awareness to optimizing health and especially over age 40 and 50. And I tell you, I was reading another menopause diet 
plan today because I, I get really excited. I'm like the rising tide floats all boat. Let's bring yeah. let's bring along, you know, other yeah. people on this, on this. And they're talking about snacking, you know, two meals, two snacks a day. And I was like, you are creating food obsession and we're creating, it doesn't matter if we're intermittent fasting, stop the snacking. Don't have like the six hour eating window where you're grazing all the time. Women especially are not designed for that. And I think that is a really big, um, that's a really big flaw in yeah, many plants. I mean, the things that I learn as being part of your community are debunk these like other myths or not myths or other ways that, you know, are being forced to women through the media. And um, so, you know, the fact that you are part of the community and, and, and hands-on within the community, doing all these programs yourself as well, you, you know, you can relate to what we are going through. The, uh, the menus, the food is incredible. My kids, when I was like doing, cause I, I discovered you in 2020 in the fall and I was religious to doing the program for a good 10 months and I was cooking and, and the food, everything's easy. You've made everything simple, easy to understand, delicious and um, fun. And, and your, you know, your Facebook community, I love your show, the girlfriend doctor, um, you know, it's just, you do so much for women. And I, I'm going to say you guys, it's for you too, um, because they have hormone issues, which they just ignore. They mm -hmm. just ignore it. And they too, as they get older, have need to have their labs checked. You have this, you have every single base covered and I appreciate it so much. And I want my listeners and the world to know you're the one-stop shop. You're the one-stop shop for oh, thank you. anything thank you. to deal with hormones, not just menopause, hormones, thyroid, um, and then and then healthy eating and how to transform yourself, really. Well, thank you. Thank you. And it's been a journey, right? I've been well over 240 pounds. Right. I was in my own menopause hell hair loss, depression, mood swings, relationship issues, burnout. I mean, I went from running a very busy practice where I had clients come to me from around the world to completely burning out and choosing God and family first and, and saying, I just need to, I need to stop. And I'm all or none kind of gal. And so, but then I just wanted to keep my employees and, you know, this is talking about entrepreneurial stuff, but I wanted to keep my employees and I wasn't sure when I would go back and, you know, when your income stops, but expenses stay the same, that was dire. That was a dire situation. And I, I can tell you, I went on, you know, I mean, it was my own, conversion really into understanding, okay, what is my next right step? How do I get my energy back? How do I put the, you know, how we say our own oxygen mask on because you get busy taking care of your employees, your family, your friends, everyone around you. And, and we're the last on the list and we have to be first in order for everyone else to be taken care of. And that is, that is the truth over and over again. When we improve our health, we vibrate at a higher energy. That is magnetic, that is healing, that is powerful, that is radiant. And we have to get there through, this is what I call the keto green way. And it is, leads us into a higher energetic state that's physiologically sustainable for brain health, cardiovascular health. I mean, it, it certainly, you know, I say 10 years ago, I was, I mean, I was on, I was in the pits of hell. It was a really tough time. And if it wasn't for this, I don't know where I'd be today. Certainly not best-selling author of three books and having millions exactly. of followers. And yeah, so it's been a, um, I, I couldn't do it. And, I, and also the best relationships in my life. I now have a three-generation household. My, I'm 55 with a 14-year-old and, you know, a couple horses, a couple dogs. <laughs> All good stuff. All good. Well, I mean... That's it. You followed your passion. I, I have to say that people that I interview, they, including myself, we've had that like sort of breakdown. And then you just follow your, what your soul and you're passionate about. And then it slowly builds and builds and builds. I mean, look at you in 10 years, right? Three yep. best-selling books. Yep. 
TV show okay. or, you know, web show, uh, incredible product line. You're a speaker, you know, you're asked to speak all over the world. Um, you know, it's, it's, it really proves, you know, your and background there's no is winding down, right? There's no winding down. I'm, you know, like there's no, well, I'm, I'm too old for this. I'm too old for that. <laughs> if those thoughts come into my head. I completely eliminate them. I let them just pass on through, have a good chuckle. Ah, really? Just watch me. Well, you know, I doing your program and now I'm stable, you know, like my weight stabilized. I, I don't, fluctuate and weight anymore and things like that. And when I do, I just know exactly what to do to get back. You know, you, you spell it out and it's, and like I said, it's easy. Um, but I think that women of a certain age group that we are, I I'm excited for the next, you know, 30 years. I, it's not like, Oh God, because we're doing what we love. And it's like, it's only oh, new doors are opening and new, you know, new things and you have new products and we all have um, a whole another lifetime to live. And it's just not this like old paradigm of, oh, you know, you're going to turn 65, you got to retire. And, you know, it just isn't the, the way we live anymore. We're excited to continue growing, learning, sharing in our, you know, as we as we grow older and so much wiser. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. And having that, you know, and, and financially being able to do that too. And where we have the solutions that really work that improve, you know, not just our lives, but improve the lives of other. And that's where my product line came in. It's because when my doctor's bag was empty, I needed to find solutions outside of the mm -hmm. prescription pad and surgical knife. What were my solutions? And that certainly was food as medicine. I learned about superfoods. So my Mighty Maca Plus with 30 superfoods that you're drinking, it is by far the best green drink, the best superfood combination. It's recommended by physicians around the world. It is not inexpensive. It is clean and every ingredient is sourced. The, the maca that I use is organic Peruvian maca from the same source that I've been using now for 12 years. I think one of those things is that it helps support your adrenal glands. It helps support detoxification. It helps support our physiology, our energy. And a, a client was over yesterday because I was doing a cooking show and she's 66 years old. And she goes, oh my gosh, I was taking three scoops of Mighty Maca, but my libido was so high. It wasn't compatible with my partner. I had to cut down to one. And she's <laughs> like, that stuff really works. I'm like, yes, it really, really works. And, um, and I think that's beautiful. That's a testimony to like that energy, that physiology. And I, I didn't learn about that in med school. It was part of my own journey, my own worldwide trip of healing to empower me. And so that's one thing. And maca is good for hot flashes. And the combination is really um, designed to support your body's natural inflammatory response. And so, I mean, it's really, it makes a difference. And then Jolva, my other signature product. I, I was going to say, we have to talk about Jolva. <laughs> it is, it is like, it is the best. When I closed my practice in 2015, remember I had clients from around the world and I, I compounded, um, you know, I, I wrote scripts from a compounding pharmacy to customize therapy. I consider that the art of medicine. When you have the luxury to be able to do that and knowledge, it's really very nice for you and your clients. And so, you know, local and, and far reaching clients were like, oh, I can't find another doctor to, you know, write these combinations. And so I said, well, let me, it's for vulva vaginal health. So I had my dream cream, I had my topical hormones, all this good stuff. And so I said, let me come up with something even better that you won't need a prescription for. And that was the challenge for myself. Cause remember I was burnt out. I'm like, it's all or none for me. If I start, you know, I've, if I start, I'm going to have, you know, a hundred clients a day. So I, um, I created Jolva. It took me a few years to perfect it, but with plant stem cells, DHEA and emollients to really support absorption. And it is game changing. I have clients that tell me their gynecologists say like this one client, her name's Sharon. You'll see her testimony on my, my website, but she's like, I, she's just, she's in her sixties and she's an accountant. And she said, I went into my gynecologist and she said, I have the vagina of a 25 year old. I said, if there's, <laughs> there's no better marker of biological aging than that. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. That's so great. And all of Dr. Quebec's uh, information, of course, are going to be in the notes and where you can find 
Jolva, every single woman needs to have Jolva like like a subscription to it so she never runs out. Trust me, it definitely works. And it works for people, even if you don't have um, issues around like extreme dryness or when you're having sex, um, it, it, it enhances the, 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 the it enhances everything. <laughs> it's, it's, it's really good. It's really good. And then also accidental bladder leaks. It's keeping that tissue well conditioned. It really is turning back the hands of time. And so accidental bladder leaks, you know, when you're, which running, is a jogging, huge thing, sneezing. I've had four you know, big babies. I was thinking about the other day and I, I do, I do sculpt classes here at, in Dallas at ritual one with 20 and 30 year olds. I'm like, I don't worry about leaking anymore. Right. I don't yeah. worry about that. And that's strong pelvic floor muscles, but also conditioned tissue, urinary tract infections. That's another one. As we get older, that tissue thins and it's more susceptible for bacteria entering the urethra and getting infections, especially if you're sexually active. And then of course, vaginal dryness, but also support of the vagina. I mean, I'm a gynecologic surgeon and I would operate, I would do incontinent procedures. I would do prolapse surgeries. I would do hemorrhoidectomies. I mean, you name it, I did it. And um, I, as I started to do more with hormones, I started pre-oping my patient two months ahead of surgery to with vaginal and topical vulvar hormones, vulva vaginal hormone therapy. So I'd have better tissue to operate on. I mean, it was very, mm -hmm. because then I'll have better results and you won't hear about mesh erosions, definitely not from my patients, right? Uh huh. And um, as patients came in for the pre-op a couple of days before surgery, they'd be like, Dr. Anna, I haven't had any problem with leaking. I ran five miles. I've been on the trampoline, had the best orgasm of my life and all this good stuff, right? I'm like, well, I guess I don't have to operate. You know, I mean, th that's how powerful this is. And, and women say, oh, well, you know, or they can say, I have no problem down there. Every one of us will wrinkle as we get older. We may not want to think about it, but I like to look at my smile lines and my laugh lines and I consider them well earned and I'm going to do everything I can lotion, potion to um, decrease those from being prematurely aging. And then again, beauty from the inside out, that's part of it, healing from the inside out. Same with my vulva, same with my clitoris. Cause when, you know, I've operated on adhesions where the clitoris was closed or the vulva lips were adhered because of dryness and hormonal changes and inflammation that's happening down there. And you don't want that. And if we can prevent it and also improve tissue, healthy tissue around it, that's what we want to do. And as a gynecologist, I don't want to operate on you down there. I want you to be perfectly healthy and functional for the rest of your lives. That's the girlfriend doctor right there, Dr. Mm -hmm. Anna Kabeca. Mm -hmm. Love you so much. So wrapping up, Dr. Kabeca, Dr. Anna, um, is there a product or something? What's your, I, I like to ask my guests what, like for a favorite thing, what are you really into right now? That is not part of your empire, but um, you know, just something that really makes you happy and makes you thrive. Is there a place you go? Is there? Oh, a it's definitely my my morning devotionals. I I yeah. um, read uh, "Give Us This Day," which is a Catholic devotional. They always have an inspirational um, person of the day or um, spirit of the day, and so our. So it, you know, like for example, Chief Seattle, Chief Seattle from that Seattle, Washington was named after was Christian and just some of his quotes and inspiration, a bit about his story. I mean, I, I found that I like to hear what other people have done in their lives. And uh, so that's a quick way that I do my, give us this day. I'll do the, um, you know, read the blessed of the day and I'll typically read the reflection for today. And that just sets me up. It sets me up with a sense of inspiration. And also, you know, so many of these blessed of our days, right, are um, like Rose the Parks and just, mm -hmm. just inspirational at any age. And that's what, that's what really inspires me. I love that. Yeah. Uh, our mutual friend, Sherry Salata calls those esteemable practices. You know, when you wake up in the morning and, and, for you, it's a devotional and for other people, it might be meditation or all of that. But, you know, you taught us in, in the class, in the course um, to get up with the sunrise and, you know, not look, just be present and watch the sunrise and the sunset 
and it helps with the melatonin, right? Yes. Is that what it is? And sets it your circadian you, like, cycle. Sets your circadian cycle. I do that. I do that often. And that's part of my esteemable practice in the morning. So I thank you love again. It. I love <laughs> uh, it. Well, Dr. Kabeca, thank you so much. And um, I believe that we are actually going to have a promotion for menu pause that will be um, in the notes that you can get a discount on menu pause. So, um, and it will be for a limited time, um, but that's exciting. And cause it's her newest book and let's help Dr. Kabeca, you know, get that, those menu plans around. I can't wait to get mine and, um, you know, start, start doing them all because I, I switching it up, right. Is important not doing the same thing forever and ever and ever. Cause your body does get like immune to it, I guess. What's the right words. Yeah. We get you know? resistant. It's just resistant. like, you can't do the yeah. same exercise every day at the gym. You need to change things up. And we don't think about that with our diet. And I always joke, I'm like, if I see one more chicken salad on someone's diet diary, uh <laughs> you know, like that's the healthy food they're eating every day for lunch. I'm like, we have to change it up. It's no yeah. longer healthy for you if that's what you're eating every day. We have to change it up. And, and menu pause, each plan is six days. We can do six days. Bring your friends along with you, please. And now with Mother's Day around the corner, I mean, I surveyed now three people's audiences, including mine. So hundreds of thousands of people. And I asked them, what did your mom tell you about menopause? Caroline, what did your mom tell you about menopause? Nothing. Zero. A hundred percent of people answer the same thing. It's Zero. time to start the conversation. And how can I support? I'm telling my millennials, I'm like, you know, all my daughter's friends and everyone, I'm like, you know, bring this book to your mom for Mother's Day and ask her, like, what was it like? What helped you? What didn't help you? But don't, you know, and our, and our friends and our sisters, right? Don't let us give up. Hold yeah. us accountable to do the next right step. I don't care if the past 40 years you've tried things that didn't work. It is time to try one more thing. And that's where I want to inspire people. It is time to try one more thing. And if there are people in your life, because I think about this, I dedicate my book to um, one of the people I dedicate my book to is my cousin, Grace. And I, I she's such a strong willed person. And she's, you know, really like just amazing. She's an amazing cook too. So some of my recipes we played with together. And, um, and so she got all of her friends, the, a copy of menu pause. And she told me, so a couple of them said, oh, well, it just seems six days, not enough. And, and another one was like, oh, we're just really, you know, like what organ meats, blah, blah, blah. And they were so down around her. I said, you know what? You need to break away from those friendships. They are not friendships. They are holding mm -hmm. you back. They are negative mm -hmm. influences in your life. No wonder you take one step forward and you're pushed two steps back. You're constantly mm -hmm. on the struggle because you are not supported. Find people who support you. Join us in my Girlfriend Doctor online community. You will see amazing people like Caroline, you know, that are supportive, that are like, hey, give it a try. I'm here with you together. Let's do this. I love it. And, and just in closing, I want to say this is for everyone. I mean, any anyone of any age. You know, if you're looking like in 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, right? I mean, your plans, because if I had known about, if, if you had been around and I had like your, the information that I have gotten from you when I was in my early forties, I mean, who knows how I could have changed up a lot of things hormonally and with the thyroid, it, you know, with the, with eating keto green. And then, you know, with menu pause, I love the idea of having five different plans to like jump back and forth from. That's fantastic. So I can't wait. Dr. Kabeca, thank you so much for being on the Connected Caroline show. I just adore you. You have been, you're just a, a gift to all of us, women thank and you. men. <laughs> thank you very, very much. Thank so um, until next time, this is Caroline on the Connected Caroline show. Make it a giving day. <laughs>